Welcome to the Windows Club. If you encounter the error 0x8007-0057 on Windows 10 while trying to either run the Windows Update or using the Windows Store, then either read through this article on the Windows Club or simply watch this video, I'll guide you through the resolutions. The first solution would be to run the system file checker scan and to run it, you'll have to open the command prompt window, possibly in the administrator mode. Then type the command sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter to run the sfc scan. The next solution would be to flush the contents of the software distribution folder or literally reset the windows update components. Both of the solutions have been explained over a different article and a different video. The next solution would be to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. So click on the Start button, select Settings, scroll down to Update and Security, then go to the Troubleshoot tab, click on Additional Troubleshooters, select Windows Update and click on Run the Troubleshooter to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. The next solution would be to run the DISM tool and this can be done just like the SFC scan tool but the command is a little different and we have explained it over a different article here. And uh, the next solution would be to reset the Windows Store cache. Now I'll show you how this is done. Press the Windows key and the R button to open the run window. Type the command WS reset and hit enter. This will reset the Windows Store cache and then you can close this window once it's done. The last solution would be a registry editor fix. So go to the path mentioned here, ignore system, but go to this uh, path mentioned here till Microsoft. First of all, I'll press the Windows key and the R button to open the run window and I'll type the command REGEDIT and hit enter to open the registry editor. Now I'll go to HKEY local machine software policies Microsoft I'll right click on Microsoft, click on new key and name it system. I'll hit enter, the key is saved. Now I'll create an entry on the right hand side and I'll name it copy file buffered and so on. So you just need to copy paste it from this article here and I'll say new keyword 32 bit value. I'll name it the needful and I'll click somewhere outside and we have to give it the value of one. It must be zero by default, so double click on it, change the value data to one, click on OK and that's it. Isn't this easy and interesting? If you have any doubts, please go to the original article on the Windows Club, scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.